Number six, the certificate or uh, how this certificate is accredited or what is the awarding body or the accredited body that is issuing this certificate. So you might be thinking like, okay, I'll just get any certificate. But if you're paying a lot of money, you might be thinking that this certificate should be accredited. Now, if you are in Egypt, the best certificate that you can get or the most accredited one is the CELTA certificate and this is accredited inside Egypt and in the other countries abroad uh, because it's coming from the British Council and you can get this one. It's a bit expensive and long duration, but it is worth it if you're going to need uh, to work using this certificate uh, at the end. And also... Um, if you need a certificate that could help you inside Egypt to start and it's a little bit cheaper, um, you know, and uh, more handling the basics if you're a new teacher, you might check with the felt from the AUC because it is cheaper and it's talking about the fundamentals. But again, remember something. Now, you might be hearing about other names of certificates, so you don't know if it is accredited or not. So what you should do is this. Now, um, Go to the employers you like to work for and ask them, if I got this X certificate, is it going to be acceptable? Would you let me come to the interview? Would you let me do the demo? And if I'm good, will you let me work using this certificate? If they tell, if they told you, yes, we accept it, so you should go and take it. Because at the end of the day, we're talking about the knowledge, not the piece of paper. So maybe this certificate is fake, but the course is really good. But of course, it's better to know that it is fake and make, make up your mind that you're going to go to learn, not just to get a certificate. So this was the certificate.